Hand sanitizer affects breathalyzer tests. If you're going to drink and drive, don't hand sanitize. Actually, just don't drink and drive. A new study finds that alcohol-based hand sanitizers can emit vapors that can disperse through the air and enter the mouth, causing breathalyzers to error out or even give a positive reading. The study looked at evidential breath alcohol instruments in police stations. Researchers first administered breathalyzers to 65 subjects in a controlled, ventilated room. The one of two operators used a golf ball-sized dollop of foam sanitizer or two pumps of liquid sanitizer and rubbed the solution into their skin until dry. The operators then administered one more round of tests. Of the 130 tests, 13 gave a positive reading, even though the subject did not consume any alcohol. Another 41 tests caused the machine to error out. Previous studies have found that hand sanitizers can affect readings on handheld devices. Nice! Bottoms up! Washing Tomo does the body good. California man gets DUI charged for consuming caffeine? A California man charged with driving under the influence of drugs in 2015 says he wants to clear his name after blood tests revealed caffeine, but no sign of any other drugs. 36-year-old Joseph Schwab was driving home from work in Solano County when he was pulled over by an officer in an unmarked car. The cop said Schwab was driving erratically and had cut her off. Although Schwab blew a 0.00 blood alcohol level on a breathalyzer test, he was booked into the county jail and had his blood drawn for further testing. Schwab's report came back negative for benzodiazepines, cocaine, opiates, THC, methamphetamine, oxycodone, and zolpidum. According to documents provided to The Guardian, a second test was then conducted in a Pennsylvania lab. That test showed that Schwab did indeed have a chemical in his system, caffeine. Schwab filed a motion to get the case dismissed, but the motion was denied. Now he plans to take the case to court on January 11th. According to Sharon Henry, Chief Deputy District Attorney for Solano County, her office was still investigating the matter and she noted that the charge of driving under the influence wasn't based on the presence of caffeine in Schwab's body. Good to know, right, coffee lovers? Smart beds can stop you from snoring. A Minneapolis mattress company unveiled a smart bed at the Las Vegas Consumer Electronics Show that can help prevent users from snoring, thus eliminating the chances of them disturbing their partners in their sleep. The smart bed is able to raise the temperature at the foot of the mattress before users get into bed. Research has shown people fall asleep faster when their feet are warm. The bed is able to continually track heart rates, motions, and breathing. It also automatically adjusts, depending on the user's position. An under-bed mechanism automatically lights up if users get out of the bed in the middle of the night. To prevent users from snoring, the bed is designed to slightly raise the user's head to clear his or her airway when it detects the sound of snoring. It also traces bedtime routines and helps wake up the user when they've reached the lightest stage of sleep. Other gadgets unveiled at the show included an automated beer brewing machine, a smart frying pan that can track the content of food being cooked, and a device that can turn any computer into a touchscreen. Tattoos could make you sick. Thinking about getting some ink? Might want to think again. A new study finds tattoo ink may leave microscopic particles that can circulate in the immune system and end up in the lymph nodes. Scientists examined deceased individuals with tattoos and deceased individuals without tattoos using X-ray fluorescence to identify ink particles. They also used Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy to detect biomolecular changes in the surrounding tissue. Researchers found elevated levels of metals including aluminum, chromium, iron, nickel, and copper in the lymph nodes and skin in some of the tattooed subjects. The study concluded contamination could lead to chronic enlargement of the lymph nodes and long-term exposure to toxic compounds. The scientists say the next step will be to study what particular health effects ink particles may cause in the human body. Millions of Americans now hypertensive based on new guidelines. U.S. health experts tighten the guidelines for high blood pressure for the first time in 14 years, classifying 30 million more Americans as hypertensive. High blood pressure was once defined as a reading of 140 over 90, but has recently been lowered to 130 over 80. Blood pressure refers to the force of blood flowing through the blood vessels. When too high, it can damage arterial tissues and increase the risk for heart disease, stroke, and kidney problems. Under the old guidelines, 
32% of U.S. adults had high blood pressure, with a new lower threshold, 46%, or 103 million Americans, are now considered hypertensive. Normal levels are pegged at less than 120 over 80, and lifestyle changes are recommended for those with elevated BP. Medication is given to patients with stage 1 hypertension who are at risk, while those at stage 2 are given two different classes of medicine. Since hypertension is a silent killer, experts want to help people get the condition under control earlier and place a strong emphasis on making healthier life choices.